So I'm going to um, give you the micropulse laser treatment guideline first. It sounds like a different way or order of doing things, but I think that sometimes that we actually give you a guideline first, and then we then show you that how effective that guideline is, is doing. So this is my financial disclosure. So this is the parameter that we use on the Quantel laser, and don't have to photograph it, but because the, the company were very willing to actually share that with you on the published and uh, presented guideline. But I want to explain to you that why that we have come to this guideline. Because when you're actually looking at the publication, that there is a lot of different changes, a lot of different protocol. And I, the first time I used Micropulse Laser is over 15 years ago, and the protocol that even we did back in 2008, that when we published, are different from the one that we are using now. Because that we have been, been improving it over the years to make it more efficient, easier to do, at the same time, a more effective and also safer. So there's a, this is the kind of area that we are talking about. So first of all, that I already mentioned that you still read the literature, there is a lot of discussion about 15% duty cycle. On publication, a lot of the talk, a lot of the publication are on 15% duty cycle. But in fact, that we have found both on animal experiment as well as clinical experience, that 5% duty cycle is actually safest and also have the uh, similar efficacy. So since that you've got similar efficacy, then safe will be better. And so therefore, that we're actually now moving on to the 5% duty cycle. As Sasha mentioned earlier, that 5% duty cycle means that it's 0.1 millisecond on, 1.9 millisecond off. The laser was on 5% of the time. We, he also mentioned about dense treatment. Dense treatment means there's no gap. So again, again, we want to reinforce that point that is quite important. And to be fair, in some of our previous study, that we're actually using gaps. And again, that have shown that, that we're giving you us a bit of under treatment. We also get going to Giovanni, we're going to talk a little bit later about the yellow laser. So I'm not going to uh, talk a lot about yellow laser for the time being. The, one of the also advantages that we have now see is that we can actually do multi-sport micropulse because there was no reason that you have to do it all the spot on your own, just like that multi-spot laser is, 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 uh, have transformed the way that we do PRP, and then I think that it's quite reasonable that we can combine those together. And again, there is different way of doing it, so you can actually do the micropulse using the, mac, the predefined mac of the grid uh, on the laser, and there's some people prefer that. And at the same time, that you can also just pick the 25, uh, the, the five times five grid, or you can choose a four times four grid. And like in here, as you see, that you can actually carry on doing that. But better in mind that this is not as fast as a standard micro sport laser, because each sport will take about 20 milliseconds. In other words, to get the 25 time, 25 sport grid, you will take around six seconds. Now, six seconds is quite a long time. And to be fair, you probably don't want to do that if you were doing PLP because the patient do have some movement. But when you're doing micropulse, because the, um, the safety margin is much higher, and even if the patient move a little bit, it's not such a big problem. Similarly, that you might remember when you're doing photodynamic therapy that you're making 83 seconds. And if you can hold it for 83 seconds, why can't we hold for six seconds? So I think that is the kind of rel relatively speaking, this is where we are. Because some patients do move, and again, remember the PDT laser, when the patient move, you take the pedal off and then recenter, carry on, right? So similarly, that the, the Quantel laser have this resume mode that if your patient actually move during the time, you have halfway done it, and then you can then take the pedal, uh, pedal off during that six seconds, and then adjust to the, uh, to the right grid again, and then you can finish and carry on. So that, can, that is useful in some patients, you know, but then quite often you don't even have to use the resume mode, but you can just kick, uh, get the six second uh, control relatively easily. So sometimes a pattern like that, you can actually cover quite a large area uh, with the micropulse multi-spot laser. We already mentioned you need more spot. That is critically important. Certainly a lot of my fellow, when they join me, they are already experienced laser surgeon, and sometimes they think that it didn't work. One of the reasons they didn't work is because they're under treatment. And as, as we mentioned earlier in the Levinsky study, that if you're not treating it adequately, you quite often will not get the result that you want. Spot size, so why we pick 160? 
well, too large a spot, the heat in the center cannot spread out fast enough. So we actually done some animal experiment. We haven't published it, but in looking at about 300 micron is probably the maximum that you can probably do in an animal. We feel that, you know, because if animal is 300 microns, then you think that we want to do it a bit safer, then the 200 micron might be the upper limit of uh, what we would prefer. And to a certain extent, then we kind of pick 160 micron. It's quite arbitrary because I think in the quantile laser, you can only do 140 or 160. You can't pick 150 for whatever reason that they decided that that is how they want to do it. So we pick 160 quite in the pragmatic perspective. You know, so but up to 200 is probably okay. You can get a bit smaller, then you obviously you take more spot. So it's kind of 160 is a kind of a compromise. And that's why that we pick 160. It's not gospel, but this is something that we are able to be big enough, pragmatically, and have high level of safety. We're using a power 5% duty cycle. We are talking about uh, testing, where to test and where, do, where we are. So this is different from, again, some, a lot of publication. This is setting that we are already set it all up doing micro pulse. Because in some of the publication, they adjust the power using continuous wave, and then you adjust the power back to micro pulse, you adjust the power that, that, that way. So when you may imagine that you're holding the contact lens there and try to do all this, it's actually quite problematic. So we feel that it might be simpler to just to test it on the 5% duty cycle, and uh, all, everything is already set. What we want to pick is an area to test is outside the edema area, but near enough, but in the flat area, which is normal. Again, there is some, uh, some people who choose to, choose to test it out in the arcade and so on, you, and that is not a big deal to a certain extent. We did some experiments probably quite similar, but we, did, we didn't want to particularly make a laser spot outside the arcade for no reason, so we actually kind of pick a spot actually quite near the area of edema anyway. But that's not critical, but it's a personal preference. In our machine, again, you need to, once you get your own machine, you need to kind of figure it out about your own machine and your setting, your slit lamp, the delivery system, your lens that you use. And we think that most of the pa patients that we have in Oxford are mostly Caucasian, that the visible reaction are during about 1,000 to 1,400. So we tend to set, start with 1,000 and then we do a 200 millivolt step. So it's quite quick that usually within two or three steps that you will be able to get the, get the, trip, uh, get the power that you want. So it's not really a, a very well that you don't go, need to go down to 360 or something like that. It's just something that 1,000, 1,200, 1,400. So you get picking 500, 600, 700. If you want to do a 100 microns, uh, 100 millivolt step is fine, but again, that obviously involving a little bit more uh, testing time. We treated by the dense guided by the OCT. This is the guidance that uh, you is published, and again, Quantel will probably have very happy to uh, share you a copy, uh, give you a copy of that. Thank you very much for your attention.